guys and welcome to my channel so today I have a mystery box um, I got on Facebook marketplace and found another box um, I've got oil on my nails so that they're shiny that's why um, but anyway it should be around 125 polishes I think it's 90% OPI but there are a few other little things sprinkled in as well um, I got it for $75 so I haven't really looked at any of them um, just kind of barely glanced and I did notice that there was a lot of OPI in there so some of these are new and some are used so there may be some that are in not great shape but we will find out so this first one is an OPI and the color is charged up cherry a very pretty pink shade this is a pink that I can see myself wearing very like watermelon all right next another OPI and this one is gift of gold gift of gold never gets old and it is just a gold metallic I don't think I have a gold exactly like this so I'm gonna hang on to this one okay so this one I believe I have a mini version of yeah baby I'll be a while so this one is called Russian Navy and it's like a blue with a pink shimmer inside and I'm 99% sure I have this in a mini. I'm going to look and see. Yeah, those look like the exact same polish. So I am actually going to keep the large one and put the mini in my de-stash drawer. I have already boxed up all of my other de-stash polishes um, for the giveaway, so this will be my first polish in my new de-stash for the next giveaway. Okay, so next I have this Artistic Color Revolution, and I've never heard of this brand, but it, um, I'm pretty sure this is the name, the Artistic. I was thinking maybe it was Color Revolution. Maybe artistic is the line. Um, it says reactive nail lacquer. I'm not really sure what that means. But this one is called Attraction. And this, again, is a very uh, watermelon kind of pink. But it leans a little bit more red than that first one. But it is still like a pinky coral. Very, very pretty. And a new to me brand. Okay, next we have another OPI. And this is a orangey coral with a pink shift and this one is called down to the cor coral coral corral down to the corral but it's like cor coral I think so okay so it's like a pun um yeah I think I'll like this one it leans enough orange to where I feel like I will like it swatched on my hands okay uh we have another new to me brand we do have a little bit of spillage here and this is, I'm going to say Eye Lacquer. Never heard of this in, this uh, brand, but it's Imperial Gel Shine Effect. And I don't think we're going to have a name. No, no name for this one, but it is a really pretty green. Um, very like an emerald green, which I really like. And like I said, a new to me brand. So, I'm going to hold on to that one. Okay, next we have a really pretty, like, deep blue, but it has a little bit of brightness to it. This is Get Rid of Them Blues, and it's kind of spelled funny, but that is a really pretty color as well. And I'm trying to see if I think I have this one in a mini. I have a blue that I felt like was similar. No, it's a little bit different. Okay, so a very pretty blue, and I do like it, so I'm going to hold on to that one. Okay, next we have another, like, peachy orange shade, and this one is called The Sun Never Sets, and I don't know how much I'm going to like that on my skin tone, but I will swatch it and see before I decide to declutter. All right, next we have an Essie, and this one is, like, a very pretty bright pink this one's called double breasted jacket and it's pretty it's a pretty standard like deep pink All right, next we have another new to me brand and 
Okay, so it says DC here, but then it says D and D. Uh, so I'm not really sure what this brand is actually called. I'll have to look it up, but it's a very pretty color and it is called Blue Plum. You know, I love a purple and I do like the bottles on these. It's a good size polish. I'll open this one, see what the brush is like since it's a new brand. Oh, the brush seems really nice. So yeah, definitely gonna be keeping <laughs> definitely gonna be keeping that one as well. We have another OPI, and this is a coral shade. And this one is called Live Love Carnival. And this one, I feel like I'm actually gonna like this one pretty well. It's very similar to the um, down to the corral shade, but it's a little more pink leaning than orange, but it's still very, very pretty. And it's got enough color to it where I feel like I'm going to like it better than this real peachy one. Okay. So we have another, uh, D and D brand and this one says Daisy on it. It doesn't have the, um, D C. So it looks a little bit different and it says Daisy on the side. So I'm not 100% sure um, what to think of this brand or what it's called or if like Daisy was a line that they came out with. But this one is called Whirly Pop, which is a really cute name. I actually really do like the color of this one. It is leaning in that like bubblegum pink, but there's something about it I feel like I like. I'm kind of, these colors are growing on me a little bit more as I go. So. That is Whirly Pop. Next we have another OPI, and this is probably my favorite tone of red. It's like a real bright, almost orange red, and this one is called uh, Monsooner or Later. Very pretty orangey red that I really, really like, so that will go into the collection as well. All right, we have another OPI, and this is more of like an oxblood red. And this one's called Can't Be Beat. I guess it is kind of like a beet color. I really like that as well. I used to wear lipstick this color all the time. Ooh, okay, so we got a China Glaze. So unfortunately, this one is completely dried out and empty. So this will just go in the trash, which is really upsetting since it was a China Glaze. <laughs> Bubby, it's trash. Is it empty? Yep. Um, so yeah, that one's a little disappointing. I actually don't own any China Glaze, so hopefully we'll have a few more in this box. All right, next we have another OPI, and I think I actually have the miniature of this one as well, if I'm not mistaken. Unfortunately, it is missing its sticker. Um, it might not be the same one. Let me pull it out of here and see. Okay, so these are not exactly the same. They are both a pink base with a holographic glitter, but this one is a little bit lighter. So I don't know if maybe they were the same. Actually, this one says Infinite Shine, so they are a different polish altogether. So I will be keeping both of these. All right, next we have another OPI, and this is like a pink pearlized slot shine in there. And again, we don't have any name, unfortunately, but it is a really pretty pink. Again, kind of in that watermelon family, just a little bit deeper. A very classic color. Okay, so probably my favorite so far is another OPI, and we have that purple tone that I like so much. And again, no name. These bottles are kind of in rough shape. This one seems like it may be dried out. I'm really hoping it's not. Yeah. Unfortunately, that one is dry, and it was my favorite color so far. So, yeah, I don't think there's any saving that one, so that one will be going to the trash. Oh, Another China Glaze, and again, it is dried out. That is so disappointing. But, you know, completely dry and Mom, no I good. Some more of it. Okay, baby. But this one was. China get glaze I love your guts and it's a really cool color it's a pink metallic with a black flick in there I would have really loved this polish so that's very disappointing unfortunately 
Ooh, okay, so we have a China Glaze, and I believe this one is good, and I love this color. Oh yeah, so we actually have a China Glaze that is not completely dried out. Still a little bit messy, but still usable. And this is a beautiful purple-blue base with a pink shift. So I really like this one, and we do have a name. It's called Seas and Greetings. So, excited about that. So, my first official China Glaze in my collection. Okay, we have another pink polish. And this one's looking pretty similar to that first one. A little bit deeper. But this one is called Running with the Infinite Crowd. And again, just a really pretty classic pink. I actually really do like this color. So, we'll be keeping that. All right, we have a nude from OPI, and this one is called Pale to the Chief. And it does look like it's had some spilling at some point, but still in really good shape. I'm going to sanitize and clean all of these before putting them in my collection. But I actually really do like this nude, so we'll hold on to this one as well. We have a pink from, I think it's pronounced Sesh, but this looks completely dry. Yeah, completely like twisted and dry. That thing has been through it. You can fix it? Yeah. Okay. Have to put water in it. Okay. Um, yeah, I haven't tried anything from this brand other than their top coat, which I really like. But this was Love Affair, but unfortunately completely dried out. Ooh, okay. So we have a OPI Infinite Shine, and this may be another one that I either have or had previously in a mini and it is called strong uh collision collision yeah yeah i feel like those are very close but this is the infinite shine 2 where this one is just the regular nail lacquer and i feel like the mini is a little bit darker i think you can tell so i am going to keep both of these i love a good charcoal polish so yeah i really like that one i want to see what kind of shape it's in Oh yeah, we're doing good with that. Again, the bottle needs cleaned up. But a very beautiful polish and in really good shape as far as the actual polish goes. Okay, so now we have another new to me brand. Um, Creative Play Nail Lacquer. And this is in, uh, is that Pinky or Pinkle? I think it's Pinkle Twinkle. And it is a really pretty pale peachy pink polish with some... I don't know if I'd call that holographic. Maybe more iridescent. Either way, a very pretty sparkle in there. I want to see what the condition looks like. Oh yeah, it's in really good condition. So that's going to be a beautiful top coat. So excited for that. And again, that is a new to me brand. Okay, next we have another OPI, but this one is completely dried out. But it is just... A black polish or at least it appears to be so not too upset about that one uh, the name isn't on there but another dried out polish okay we have another OPI and this is a beautiful like seafoam green pale minty shade and this one is called withstands the test of Tom oh yeah that one is in good shape as well Love this color. Very, very pretty and soft with still some vibrancy to it. Okay, next we have another OPI, and this one is called Endurance Race, en Endurance Race to the Finish. Okay, and this one, very similar to that pale orange earlier, but a little bit more pink. Ooh, that's bright. It looks more orange on the brush, actually. I actually really like this shade, so excited to try that one. Oh, okay. We have another OPI. This one definitely needs a mix, but this is a dusty grayish purple. This one is called Set in Stone. A very taupey grayish purple. It looks less purple on the wand than the bottle looked like. It's just separated, but... A very cool color. I do like this one. 
All right, we have an OPI that is unfortunately dried out because this is a really pretty purple, but it's thick and dry, unfortunately. Very pretty plum shade though. And this one is called Endless Purple Pursuit. This one has to do it, Mom, to make some. What? Put water on soap. Put the soap in Get, put soap inside the ball. Yeah. Get glitter. Put it all over the soap. Get water. Then wet, dry whittle. Yeah. And boom. Oh, boom. Got polished. That's cool. Yeah. Okay, so we have this really pretty, soft, peachy pink with a gold or silver. It's actually, dry. it's silver. Like a silver or white it's silver it's shimmer. Dry. Okay, baby. Yeah. That's what that's why the has to dry. So this is like a white gold kind of flick. I wouldn't really call it a silver. It's in really good shape. This is gonna be like a sheer polish, but I think that's gonna be so pretty. And this is Princess's Rule. One of my favorites so far. Ooh, okay, so we have a really nice blue by OPI, and this one is called Susie says Feng Feng Shu. Feng Shu. I'm probably saying that wrong. Or is that Feng Shui? I don't know. Yeah, that is a very nice pretty blue. Next we have a very bright pink. And this one reminds me of Barbie, which I like. And this one is That's Hot Pink. Very, very cute. Very fun summer shade as well. Kind of in the mood for a pink nail polish. Might be one of my next manicures, something around this color, if not this exact one. All right, ooh, okay, I like this. This is an OPI, and it, we have a deep plum purple, and it is called si Siberian Knots. Hoping it's in good shape. Oh yeah. Really like that. I love me a Deep vampy shade and purple is one of my favorites. Ooh, okay, we have another China Glaze and again a very Barbie-esque pink. And this one's called Love the Beach. Hoping it's in good shape. Uh, it's a little bit thick. I think some thinner would fix this one pretty easily. So I think I will hold on to it and try to repair this one. But that is China Glaze Loves the Beach. I have an Essie, and this is like a blue glitter. Kind of like a denim blue. And this one is called Stroke of Brilliance. And I can't tell if this one's dried out or not. Um, It's a little gloopy, but again, I think I can thin that out. So I am going to hold on to this one. Another OPI, and is this one that we've already unboxed? It looks very similar. No, it's called Strawberry Margarita, so we don't actually have this one yet. It's very, very similar to that last one. In fact, I don't feel like I really need both. They are so, so similar. This one is a little bit thicker, so it should, could use some thinner. This is the newest one. So I think I will de-stash this one. I will try to see if I can thin it out before I pass it on to anyone, but that one is Strawberry Margarita, and that is going into the D-Stash. Ooh, okay. I'm praying that this one's in good shape. This is a China Glaze, and it is a beautiful holographic berry glitter. And this one is called Where's the Party Cannon At? So I'm gonna cross my fingers and hope that this is in decent shape. Okay, yeah, I can work with that. It could use some thinner. It is not completely dried out, so this one is fixable, and I'm definitely going to be hanging on to this. So, another China Glaze, my favorite one so far. Okay, we have another one of the Artistic Color Revolution polishes, and again, I don't see any name. I didn't see what the brush looked like on these earlier, so I want to give that a little peek. Um, just a standard thin brush so not overly exciting as far as that but 
It is a new to me brand and I'm excited to give it a try and I do like the color. Okay, next we have another D&D &D polish or DC, whatever. Uh, I like the name of it. This one's called Bayberry and I really like this color as well. And these have really nice brushes and the formula seems nice. It does need a little bit of a shake, but definitely a me color. Definitely needs mixed up, but it's kind of like a stormy berry blue. Okay, actually we have another one just like it, another Bayberry. This one's mixed up a little better so you can kind of tell what the actual color is going to be like. So I'm going to keep one and de-stash one. Okay, we have a bright orange from OPI and it's got Mustangs on it. So I'm sure this was from some sort of a collection. And this one is called Race Red. It's more of an orange than red, but maybe it used to be more red. But either way, I love this color. Absolutely gorgeous. I love an orangey leaning red or red leaning orange. So either way, a fan of this one another OPI and this one is called uh, Baguette Me Not and it is just a really pretty mid-toned nude. I think I would really like that on my nails so I'm gonna hang on to that one and that is Baguette Me Not. All right we have another orangey kind of leaning coral and this one is No Stopping Me Now. Again, I do like this shade, so I'm going to hang on to that one as well. Okay, this one is dried out, unfortunately, and it was called Feeling Hot, Hot, Hot. This polish is not feeling so hot. It's completely dry, so unfortunately, this one will be trash. Okay, so we have a deep, deep purple, it looks like, and this one's called Lincoln Park After Dark. I feel like I've heard of this polish, or I've heard that name from something. Yeah, it's like a brown, like a real deep, maybe slightly purple leaning brown. Really, really nice for fall or winter, or if you're me, anytime, but really like that one. Okay, so we have another like berry pink, and this one has a very soft shimmer. It's like slightly gold. True Ab Original. I'm not really getting the pun here, but a pretty polish and I think it seems like it's in good shape let's see um it's a little thick I don't feel like I'm really loving this polish to be completely honest if I'm gonna do a pink so I may actually de-stash this one Ooh, okay so we have another OPI and this is a very pretty deep bronze and this one's called Brisbane Bronze. And it seems to be in good shape. Yeah, that's pretty good. I do like a bronze nail, so I'm going to hang on to this one. Okay, we have another Essie, and this is an orange. And it's Meet Me at... I thought it was Meet Meet. I was like, what? But it's Meet Me at Sunset. I'm just dumb. kind of looks like a jelly finish which is interesting so a very pretty jelly orange I do like this one a lot we have another artistic color revolution and this one is called break the mold and I just don't love this color this is that kind of peachy color that's just not my favorite so I think this one will go into the D stash as well it is in good shape it's just not a color I'm really interested in having. Okay, we have a really pretty dusty pink with a gold shimmer, kind of like a pinky gold shimmer. And this one is called, my address is Hollywood. Very cute name. Polish seems in pretty good shape. Yeah, I like that. That's just a very dusty, pinky, very feminine color that I like. Ooh, okay, so I love this. We have that purple, leaning pink Barney kind of shade and this one's called pink flamenco so kind of an odd name it's a little bit thick unfortunately oh, I hate that so much 
Okay, this is going to be one that I am going to keep and try to thin out because I just really like this color. Ooh, okay, so this is interesting. This is kind of a dusty, not quite ox blood, more dusty than that with a little bit of a golden, almost pink shift in there. And this one is called Color, Color to Diner, Color to Diner for, okay kind of a stretch on the pun there. Does seem to be in good shape. I do like this color, so I'm gonna be keeping this one. All right, we have another nude shade, and this is kind of like that funky, almost like yellow or green toned nude, and it's called Maintaining My Sanity. And it does seem to be in pretty good shape. Definitely holding on to this one. I like these funky toned nudes like this. All right, again, another OPI, and we have a kind of a muted terracotta. It's in good shape. I can see it moving around in there. This one is called Lunch at the Deli. It does kind of look like deli meat, <laughs> but I really do like this kind of, like I said, a muted pinky terracotta shade. All right, again, another OPI, and we're kind of in the little bit brighter than ox blood territory. This one is called Can't Be Beat. Oh, we already had this one. This was one that I liked earlier. But I don't need two, so one will go into the D-Sash. It's a very pretty shade. All right, next we have another Essie, and this one does not have a name. It's a little bit more pinky red than that last orange one, but I do like this shade. I wish I knew what the name was, but it's a pretty tone nonetheless. It kinda looks like it has a jelly formula like the orange. Ooh, okay. We have another uh, D&D &D polish, and this one is called Valentine Red, and this is an orangey red, which I absolutely love, and these so far have seemed to be in really good shape. The brush seems a little different on that one, but I love this shade, so I'm going to keep that. That's a toenail shade for me. Okay, we have another OPI, and I like the color, but unfortunately it does look like it's dried out and it says William tell me about William tell me about OPI let's see how dry it is yeah that is completely dried out so unfortunately another one that's just not going to work out for me okay so we have a very bright yellow with a pearlized shimmery finish and this one's called lemonade stand by your man Oh, okay. It took me a second. Lemonade stand. I get it. <laughs> All right. Um, I hope this one isn't dried out. I can't really tell. Oh, no. I see it moving around in there. Yeah, that's not going to be a very opaque color, but I'm interested in giving it a try, so I am going to hold on to it. Okay. Again, another China Glaze that is completely dried out. This one is called Pink Voltage, but as you can see, we are... Oh, this one's completely crusted. Like, there's no moisture whatsoever left in that. All right, another OPI. And we just have a very classic deep pink. And this one is called Dutch Tulips. Tulips are my favorite flower. What, baby? Um, I just want, I want to say, can you come and tuck me in? Yeah, I'll come tuck you in just a minute. Yay. Yeah, I love you. Hi. Okay. <laughs> It's over here. Hi. <laughs> I, I love you, baby. I'll be in there in just a minute. Mommy, read you a story, too, if you want. Um, okay. This one is dried out, and I'm not going to bother trying to save bye it. Bye-bye. <laughs> you saying bye-bye? No, this one will go into the trash as well. Okay, another china glaze that I feel like is dried out. Well, maybe I see a little movement in there. No, I can't tell. Uh, this one is called DJ Blew My Mind. Let's see. I'm so upset about these China Glaze. Ooh, actually, it's not dried out. That is surprising. It's just a little messy. So, I will definitely be keeping this one. Is this a China Glaze? I feel like this is a China Glaze bottle. But there's no label on it. Yeah, it says it down here. So, this is a China Glaze. And it's called Heart of Africa. And it's definitely had some spillage. But the actual polish... 
seems to be okay. It may be a little thick, but I think I can fix it up. So I'm going to be keeping that one. Okay, so we got another artistic color revolution, and we have a silver hollow, very strong holographic shift in there. And this one's called Dazzled, so let's see how this glitter held up. Um, a little thick, but salvageable, so gonna be holding on to Dazzled. It's very, very pretty. All right, we have another D&D, &D and another one that says Daisy on the side. And this one is called Candy with a K. A very pretty hot pink. And it's in really good shape. So definitely keeping that one. Ooh, okay. We got another China Glaze. And this one looks like it's probably in pretty good shape. This one is called Sexy in the City. A very pretty blue. With a kind of like an aqua blue shift. Let's see what we're looking like. Oh yeah, that one's that one's doing good. All of these need cleaned up, so I will be busy doing that. But very, very pretty color. I like that one. All right, another OPI, and we have like a peachy baby pink. And this one is called From Here to Eternity. Actually, I feel like I kind of like this one. It's like not too peachy. So yeah, I'm gonna hang on to that one. All right, we have another D&D, &D, and this one is called Pink Lemonade. Very, very pretty. I like this color pink. That one's a little bit thicker than some of the others, but salvageable. I'm definitely going to get me some thinner, but I really like that color. I have, ooh, I like this. This is an OPI, and it's like a, I can't tell if it's a gray or a deep dusty blue base with that uh, gold fleck. And this one is called to uh, Top the Package with a Bow. All right, let's get a closer look at this. Mm, yeah, I think it's just a charcoal base with a gold fleck. I love this one. Okay, so excited that that one's in good shape. Ooh, okay. You all know how I feel about a bar glitter. So we have a, I would call this like a white gold. It's kind of leaning gold, but it, sometimes it looks a little bit silver kind of champagne I guess with a holographic bar glitter and it is is this star taken love this polish very metallic very shiny and then add that bar glitter in there this one's a winner love that okay we have another OPI and this one's called do you take layaway another nude I do like this one so going to be keeping this one as well all right now we have a bright red kind of a watermelon shade again I'm getting so much like dry polish all over me this one is unequivocally crimson it's definitely had some spilling but the polish seems to be in good shape so just needs a little bit of cleanup but I do like this one okay we have a Morgan Taylor okay so this is new to me I have heard of Morgan Taylor but I don't own any and this is kind of leaning in that white gold champagne kind of shade and this one's called gifted and platinum platinum that is the word i'm looking for okay platinum so this last one was kind of a platinum color too it's like why could my brain not think of that Ooh, that is pretty definitely hanging on to this one again uh, a new to me brand so excited to give that a try okay we have another opi this one oh okay strawberry margarita this was one that I had put in the D stash because I didn't feel like I liked the color too much. But since there's two of them, and this one does seem to be in better shape, so maybe I will hang on to this one now. <laughs> okay, ooh, we have a pretty deep blue. This one is Roadhouse Blues. I wonder if this is the one that I always say, say looks like, um, what is it? The urban. No, it's a little bit darker. I love this though. Okay, so this one is definitely going in the collection. It is right up my alley. It's that deep purpley toned blue that I love so much. So for sure keeping Roadhouse Blues. Okay, another OPI. And this one is called French Quarter for your thoughts. 
I like this, and I feel like I have heard this name before. It's kind of a taupey grayish nude, and I really, really, really like that color. We have another OPI, and this is going to be kind of a sheer natural nail. My baby's having a good time down there. Okay, so this one looks like it's got two labels. Oh, they do say the same thing, though. So, it's called Pearl of Wisdom. It's a really cute name. But yeah, it's just like a pearlized topper, or like not a topper, but just like a a sheer. That's what I'm trying to think. Yeah, I really like that. So keeping that one. Ooh, okay, I like this. This one is called A Rose at Dawn Broke by Noon. Definitely kind of a rosy pink with a pearl finish. Yeah, I like that one. I'm gonna keep it as well. Okay, a beautiful blue by OPI, and this one is called Blue My Mind. Again, kind of that pearlized, shiny finish. Yeah, I like this. Gonna keep that one as well. All right, we have another black OPI that is complete. Like, you hear that? That's how dry that one is. Okay, so we have this really pretty light sky blue, and this one is called To Be Continued love this kind of color it's in good shape definitely holding on to this one Ooh, okay we have another D and D polish and this one is called purple rain and it is a very light purpley pink it's in good shape 100% holding on to this okay we have a Pearlized Shimmery Red by OPI, and this one is An Affair in Red Square. It's like a ruby red. It's in good shape. Holding on to that one. Ooh, okay, we got another like lilac purple by D&D, &D. and this one is called Pixie. Such a cute name. 100% holding on to that one. Another one from D&D. &D. This one has the Daisy logo on it again. And this one is called Sexy Kiss. It's kind of a fuchsia, like a hot pink with a fuchsia shift. Keeping that one. Okay, all right, this one's interesting. This is an OPI. It definitely has some spillage, so I'll have to see what kind of shape we're in. And it says, We the Female. Okay, so this is kind of like a deep, dusty mauve, I guess is how I would explain this. And it's a little thick, but it is salvageable, and I do like this color, and I like the name. So, I'm going to keep that one. All right, we have another OPI Oxblood type shade, and it says, Got the Blues for Red. Okay. It's kind of a muted, dusty Oxblood. Let's see what we're looking like. We're in good shape. Just got a, all these bottles are a hot mess. It's hard to tell how old these polishes are. But I'm gonna keep that one. Ooh, we got another purple by D D and D or DC or whatever this is. And this one's called Frosty Tarot. Love, 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 love this one. One of my favorites so far. Okay, so we're getting another uh creative play polish. And this one is called Crimson Like It Hot. Crimson Like It Hot. Okay. I'm trying to Okay, I like that. That's a pretty color. It's in good condition. Crimson. I'm trying to get the pun, and I'm, I'm missing it. It's gone over my head, but we're going to keep it nonetheless. We have another Essie polish. Ooh, this is pretty. This is like a plum purple with a gold shimmer. I don't have anything like this. This one is called It's Genius. Very pretty, and it's in good shape. I can see it moving around in there. Okay, we got another new to me brand, and I can't tell if it's dried out or just separated. But this one is Kiara Sky. I've never heard of this brand. Ooh, I love the name. I hope this is in good shape because I love this movie. This is my fair lady. So I'm going to give it a shake and see what we're looking like in there. I think it's a dry. Okay, so I can't tell if this was like a weird texture polish or if it's just separated. I can't really tell what was going on in here. This is so upsetting. I think it was like a flaky kind of polish. I'm so tempted to try to fix this one because it's a new to me brand and I love the name. But 
I don't know if I'm going to have any luck. I, I am going to hold on to it and see if I can add a boatload of thinner to this to save it. Because I really want to give that a try. Okay, another OPI. We have just like a light pale pink. And this one's called Flip Flops and Crop Tops. I've definitely heard of this one before. I feel like I'm getting a lot of like older OPIs that a lot of people have or are popular. So yeah, I'm going to hold on to that one. I feel like that's a cute pink. Okay, we have another OPI, but this one is unfortunately dried out. This one is called Superstar Status, and it was a uh, another platinum kind of glittery shade. But we crusty. There ain't nothing in there. No saving that one. Ooh, okay, we got another uh, daisy one. And this is a red with a gold shift. It's like, it's actually looking orange. And this one is called Hot Lava. So this is definitely right up my alley. I love an orangey red. And I don't have anything with this kind of like combo in it. So for sure keeping this one. Alright, we have another bright watermelony pinky red. And this one is called Colors So Hot It Burns. Very, very pretty. This one is looking similar to another one we had earlier. I wonder if these are the same. This one has a little bit of a a shimmer shift to it like a pearlized finish but I don't know the name of this one and they are so similar that I'm gonna keep this one and declutter this one actually this one is pretty thick so I'm actually going to toss this one and then just keep the other one okay we have another dusty pink and this one is called Aurora Berry Alice luck really really like this it's like a purpley mauvey dusty rose my baby singing downstairs. It's in good shape. For sure keeping this one. Okay, so we have like a metallic chrome top silver. And this one is I Drive a Supernova. It's in good shape. I'm going to keep this one. Okay, y'all, he is singing his little heart out, and I know it may be distracting, but I'm not about to tell him to stop because he sounds adorable. <laughs> He's so cute. Okay, so this one is like a, almost like a salmon-y pink, and this one is called She's a Bad Muffaletto. But I, oh, goodness, I'm making a mess. I'm definitely going to keep this one. It's cute. So we have a beautiful purple from OPI. I'm not going to get my hopes up too high because you never know when they're dry. Uh, this one's a grape fit. Okay, let's. Oh no, the bottle seems stiff. Let's see. Oh, please don't be completely dried out. Oh, okay. It's a little thick, but we can save her. So definitely keeping this one. I love this purple. Okay, we have another artistic color. This one is called Get Your Own Man. It's a pretty, pretty peachy pink. I think I'll hold on to that one. All right. Okay, so we have another new to me brand. This one is called Nina Ultra Pro. And it is like a topper. That is so pretty. It's like white with like these iridescent shifts to it with like a white flaky kind of I don't know it's weird it's like a weird texture I don't know if that's coming across but that is so pretty okay so I like the brush as well definitely holding on to this one and this one does not have a name unfortunately but it's a new to me brand so definitely keeping that okay unfortunately this one's dried out but this is another eye lacquer in diamond and it was a Chunky Silver Hollow. And I don't think there's going to be... No, it's pretty pretty far gone. So I'm just going to go ahead and toss this one, unfortunately. We have another beautiful light blue from OPI. No name on it, unfortunately. But a really pretty color, so I'm going to hold on to that. Okay, another China Glaze. This one is called Bottoms Up. It's a really pretty pink. Let's Let's see. Okay, we're actually in good shape, so I'm going to keep that one. We have another OPI, and this is a very, very pale pink, almost white. And it's called Pandemonium Pink. It's 
see what kind of shape we're in. Uh, no, that's chunky. I ain't gonna bother trying to save this one. So that one will be going in the trash. Okay, another new to me brand. This one is Dare to Wear. So never even heard of that. It's got a cute little bottle and I'm not seeing a name anywhere, unfortunately. So let's see what kind of shape we're in. Okay, we're in good shape. The brush seems decent enough. I like the color. It's kind of a rosy, dusty brown. And again, another new to me brand. So definitely gonna hold on to that one. Right, we have another Essie. It's a kind of a camel color. Okay. Apparently the label came off, so I don't know the name of this one, but I do like the color and I'll be holding on to that one. Ooh, okay, this is pretty. Okay, so we have an OPI. It's like a, a little bit of a shake. We have like a berry base with a real bright purple pink kind of shift. Congeniality is my middle name. Okay, took me a second. Oh no. Okay, the polish is moving around in there, so it's good, but the cap is stuck on there, so I'm gonna have to, have to see if my husband can't get that one open for me, but I am gonna hold on to it. Okay, this one does not have a label, and I don't think I'm recognizing this bottle from anything so far. So if you recognize this bottle top, let me know. This one's called Cerulean Seascape. Again, I don't recognize the bottle, but I do like the color. Okay, we have another OPI, another watermelon kind of shade. Read my fortune cookie. I like this a lot. This is very pretty. It's a little bit more salmon-y red. I don't know if that makes sense, but in my mind it does. Seems to be in pretty decent shape. Gonna keep this one. Okay, we have another artistic color and we have a peachy color with a gold flaky. This one is called Hot Cat Orange. Cat Orange. Hot Cat Orange. Okay, that's kind of hard to say, but cute nonetheless. Seems to be in good shape. I'm going to hold on to that one. Normally, these peachy colors are my favorite, but with that gold flaky in there, I feel like maybe it'll make me like it more. All right, we have another OPI. It's a really pretty, like, dusty red with a gold shift. This one's called, oh, we already had this one, Color to Diner For. So, I have two of these now. So, I'm going to keep one and de stash one. Okay, we have another new to me brand. Okay, so, we have no name. I'm not even sure how to pronounce the name of the brand. I do like the color and it being a new to me brand, I'm going to hold on to this one. Okay, we have another eye lacquer. This is an interesting shade. It's called Vintage. It's kind of like a very muted dusty purple. Let's see what kind of shape we're in. Uh, a little thick, but I can save it. So I'm gonna hold on to this one. All right, another OPI. And this one is, okay, I thought we might've already had this one. So this one was Red My Fortune Cookie. So I'm gonna keep one and de-stash one. All right, next we have just like a straight brown from OPI and this one's a all aboard the sled. So I do like a brown polish. So let's see what kind of shape we're in here. Seems to be pretty good. I'm gonna hold on to that one. Okay, we have another light blue. Can't find my checkbook. And I don't think that we have this one. We had a, yeah, this one's a little bit lighter. So this is not one that we already unboxed. So I'm definitely gonna keep this one. Okay, another nude from OPI. This one's it never ends. Kind of like a latte kind of color. I really like that. Gonna hold on to it. All right, another OPI, and this one is Cajun Shrimp. It's a very good name for it, and I feel like I've heard this name before. So it's hard to tell how old these polishes are. It's in pretty good shape, so I'm gonna hold on to it. All right, another OPI, and are we there yet? And it seems to be in good shape. I can see it moving around in there. And I think I like it. It's peachy, but it's also like nude enough. I feel like I, I feel like I like that one. I'm gonna give it a try. All right, we have a light pink, and this one is called I Think in Pink. And I can't tell from the outside if this one's in good shape. All right, 
Um, that one is just about empty. It's kind of dried out, but mostly it's just gone. So I'm gonna throw that one away. We have a China Glaze. And this one is just a black. It looks like liquid leather. So let's see what kind of shape we're in here. I like the name of it. Seems to be pretty decent, so I'm gonna hold on to that one. Another OPI, and we have a very, very pale lavender in pursuit of purple. Ooh, good, we're in good shape. 100% keeping this one. Okay, next we have another CND Creative Play, <coughs> and this one is called LMAO. So it's just a light pink glitter with a fuchsia shift kind of a jelly formula as you can see okay next we have another opi and this is a bright sunshine yellow and it's called need sunglasses Let's see if we're dry or what we're doing here uh no looks in good shape i'm gonna hold on to that i know yellow is not like a everyday kind of shade but i do like to have them just in case all right this one's so pretty but it does look like it's dried out it is a woman's prerogative just an orangey glitter, bronzy kind of orange. Yeah, completely dry, so another one that just gets tossed, unfortunately. Okay, this one's pretty. It's like a nudie champagne shimmer. This one is called Worth a Pretty, Worth a pretty Penay. Um, yeah, we're still good in here. I was worried that one was dried out, but it's actually in pretty good shape so for sure holding on to that one all right we have a deep berry shade this one is called just a little rust rusty at the rusty at this just a little rusty at this okay let's see mm, yeah that one's pretty thick so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and toss this one as well it doesn't really seem like there's much hope for it. Yeah, I didn't even notice that spot there. Ooh, okay. We have another eye lacquer, and this is a really pretty blue. Kind of got like a dusty quality to it. And this one's called Daring. Oh yeah, that's really nice. Kind of like a dusty navy. Definitely keeping that one. All right, we have another creative play and kind of like a Barbie pink. And this one's called Peony Rod. It's a cute name. We're in good shape. Definitely keeping that one. Oh, we got a simple colors. Okay, so this is like a red with a gold flaky and a gold hex glitter. I really like that. And this one is called Devil's Stare. Oh yeah, for sure keeping that. It's kind of like a pinky red jelly base. Very, very pretty. All right, next we have another OPI. And this is a sheer pink pearl with kind of a little bit of a brighter pink shimmer. And this one's called Can You Hear, Can't Hear Myself Pink. Okay. Very, very cute. Again, would just be very pretty on a, a nail on its own without a base. Just very simple and girly. All right, we have another kind of salmon-y shade. And this one is Big Hair, Big Nails. I love that name. That's cute. And this seems like it's a jelly kind of finish. Yeah. Ooh, making a mess. I really like that one. I think that one's going to be beautiful. Uh, unfortunately, another one that is going to be dried out. That is a very chunky gold glitter with a holographic hex glitter. Look, those chunks in there are huge. Okay, this one is called When Monkeys Fly. I can't even get it open. I'm so disappointed because that is a really cool polish. Them gold hex glitters are giant. Another dried out polish. This one is, I'm not really a waitress. I am a waitress, so wouldn't have worked anyway. This one's pretty. Hopefully it's not dried out. This is a blue glitter with a purple shift in there. This one is called OPI Ink. 
Oh yeah, we're in good shape too. All right, definitely keeping that one. We have another pinky shade, and this one is Cha-Ching Cherry. That's cute. So many pink OPIs, but I like this one as well. I'm going to keep it. This one, as you can see, is completely dried out. And this one was, oh, actually, we already had this one, so that worked out nicely. I think we already have this one, or one similar. It's called Bright Lights Big Color. Let me see if I can at least find the one I'm thinking that it looks like. I think I'm thinking of this one. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay, so I'm going to keep this one as well. Okay, now we have like a deep gunmetal gray. This one is called Haven't the Foggiest. That's a cute name. And I can see it moving really well in there, so definitely going to keep this one. All right, now we have a very light but bright orange, and this one is in my back pocket. Let's see if we're in good shape in here. Oh, yep, and definitely in good shape. It's ran all over the place. Okay, definitely keeping that one. Ooh, okay, this is very pretty. It's like a periwinkle with a silver shift in there and a little bit of a purple glitter in there as well if you can see that and says show us your tips that's funny okay let's see what kind of shape we're in because i really like this color all right yeah that's in pretty good shape i'm definitely holding on to that one it's pretty Ooh, okay we have an orally polish and this is just a nice pearlized bronze or metallic bronze and this is called flagstone rush see Ooh, yeah we're also in good shape that's exciting I love Orly okay, I feel like maybe we already had this one let's see it says rich girls and po boys <laughs> uh yeah no I was thinking maybe those were the same but it is not the same color we had some similar but I do like this blue let's see I kind of feel like it's dried out oh no actually we're really good so keeping that one we have another like dusty, pretty, girly pink with a gold shift in there. And this is, oh, we already had this one. The, my address is Hollywood. So I'm going to keep one and de-stash one. Okay, another one that's completely dried out. But this one was Koala Berry. Aw, that's such a cute name and I like the color too. Alright, we have another Essie. And this is a very bright, orangey pink. It's like neon. It's not even looking as bright on camera as it is in person. But this is Gallery Gal. Oh yeah, that's cute. I'm going to keep that one. We have another Essie. And this is just like a berry, deep berry tone. And this is called Russian Roulette. And I can't tell. There's maybe dried out, actually. Um, yeah, that's pretty thick. I could probably save it if I really, really wanted to, but I don't think I'm that worried about it. So I'm just going to go ahead and toss that one. This one may be a repeat. Let's see. Yeah, Roadhouse Blues, I thought it was. This was one of my favorites, but I don't need two, so I'm going to keep one and de-stash the other. Okay, so we got a China Glaze, and it looks like it may be in decent shape. This one is called Elfin Around. I'm guessing it was from a Christmas collection. Oh, I can't get it open. And this one is stuck, and I can't tell if it's moving at all in there. I think it may be dried out, but I'm going to see if I can get my husband to get that open for me. Ooh, okay, this is pretty. And it's a china glaze, and I'm hoping that it's not dried out. Um, we had another one with the same cap earlier. And this one is called Kill Em With Kindness, and it is a very pale yellow. And I think it's in good shape. Ooh, yay. That's exciting. All right. So, I'm going to do a quick count and see how many we ended up keeping, how many we had to toss, and how many was in the declutter. Okay, so I got it open, and it is in pretty decent shape. Just needs maybe a little bit of thinner, but for sure keeping it. Okay, so if I counted right, I kept 117, which is, I didn't even realize they were, actually, no, I forgot this one, 118. If I counted right, 118, and I thought there was only going to be about 125 total, so I'm pleased with that. So, kept 118. I de-stashed 9 plus a mini that I already had, so that put 10 in my de-stash. So, that brings us up to 
128, and then I had to throw away 21, which brings us up to 149, if I counted right. So, I'm actually really, really happy with that. Yeah, that's going to be it for this video. I love you guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.